Hello parents of Capricorn children. Thank you so much for your continued patience. And this is your reading for the month of August. Unfortunately, um, my schedule is not allowing me to keep, keep up with the weeklies like I would like to. So I have to just honor uh, my reality and do what I can to keep this going. So for the month of August, your child has the energy of the lion, your Capricorn child. Um, the lion speaks of, you can see that, um, courage, strength, healing, protection, this, um, and life energy. This speaks to me, um, and they also have the owl, which speaks of sexual energy, darkness, and liberation. That's the picture. It's in the upright. And they also have the crow, which speaks of renewal, transformation, magic, and abundance. So this is a very significant month for your child where they are pushing through something. Um, there's a transformation of some kind that's in their life. And um, it, it's almost like when you have a, um, a flower, a bud that's pushing through the ground. Um, that's the transformation that your child is experiencing. There's there's a lot of strength here, which is so exciting. Um, and that's what the card says. A lot of healing, a, a lot of process going on to get to the next level. Um, they have the snowflake obsidian. Uh, this card speaks to their empowerment, protection, ideas, and talents. When I look at this card, it reminds me of like a snowstorm. And in a snowstorm you're just trying to you're focusing on just trying to get home um so there's a, a element of protection protecting what is dear um and near to them um in the process of this um so it's almost like a, a weathering of a storm um and in that process they then become empowered uh there's something that they're holding on to in a good way to help them get to the next level so you know maybe they there's a project that they're thinking about. They have some great ideas. This is a, a, definitely an incubation thing. Just much like a, a, a plant that's growing and that eventually will bloom after it pushes through the earth. So a lot of process here. Um, how you can help you're being advised to provide that security, letting your child know that they are a part of the tribe, cultivating that community uh, and nurturing aspect for them. And then also help them not to hold on to the things that are no longer serving them. Um, the solution is uh, letting go of the anxiety, if you can see that. And it just says, calm your nerves and you'll be able to hear the voice of your angels. Um, and also in reverse, you have, you are a spiritual teacher. So you, mom and dad, um, or caregiver, whoever is the guardian of the child, you may find it difficult to believe or there may be a sense of doubt that you are truly a teacher, a spiritual teacher, um, you're, you may not want to share what you know, but it's important for your child's growth that whatever you share is going to be a benefit to them. And you're being asked to share your wisdom with others you were born to teach. So there's a reluctance. Either A, you know you are a spiritual teacher and you're maybe you're not walking in that, or there's some kind of hindrance, some lack of movement uh, concerned with this card. Um, you're also being advised um, to stay true. I am staying true. Being your most authentic self. You are strong. So if you're feeling weak in this season, don't worry. You have the strength that you need to, to get things done. I get a sense of doubt that you don't believe that you have what it takes, but you do. That you are the real deal. And a source... That comes from a state and a place of being honest with yourself. So you're also encouraged to do that as well. Now let's break this down. So your child is going through a transformation season. There's a, a gift or a talent in them that's being birthed and cultivated that needs some more time. It's in process. There's, there, you know, that nothing grows without some pressure. And, you know, if you're a woman who has had a baby you know you've been pregnant you know that it takes time and pressure to you know for the child to grow and it takes time and a lot of pressure a lot of pushing to get the child out um 
what's what's going to help them is creating a sense of community and encouraging encouraging and inspiring them to let go of what no longer serves them and the outcome is going to be a sense of peace because you're releasing the things that are no longer serving you and you're um you know you're going to be imparting some wisdom into your child so that's that now moving on to you now um you're either being asked to be involved in a committee or a community leader at work or something outside of your home and this is there's some resistance this is a time for growth this is a time for you know maybe an opportunity fell through the cracks but this um, is definitely an opportunity um, for a new beginning and there's some reluctance there's maybe there's um, some spite in the workplace or something emotionally tied to your uh des your lack of desire to regenerate you know to let go of what no longer is serving you so you are being asked to accept the opportunity um and by um letting go of that block that's keeping you from being the best version of yourself that you can be in this instance um letting go of the anxiety that's it's, it's funny because when the, that card came out it was like wow that that's uh confirming this you know to release something that's no longer serving you and you it's it's, it's almost feels like this is a leadership position that someone is asking you to take on you may be reluctant to take it on because of other things you may not think that you're qualified you may not think that you're the best candidate for it but that doubt is just telling you it's like no you are a spiritual teacher you may not feel like it but you are and you are being encouraged to accept this so be authentic you don't have to be somebody that you're not be honest with yourself um be honest with who you are and you know be authentic you can you can lead based on who you are you don't have to change yourself in order to be more qualified for this position and you know whatever challenges that you're facing economically you know be strong because there's light at the end of the tunnel there's a blessing for you there and you know i'm really getting that you know you're asked first of all to just be transparent be honest accept the truth you are the real deal you know and just be true to you and there's strength in that maybe you know you're strong and you're afraid to walk in it but that's what i'm not i'm not getting that i'm i'm really sensing that it's an encouragement to you that you are so it's like a doubt that you are strong and you're just being encouraged to walk in it so i hope that that resonates for you for the month of august i thank you again for your continued patience um, and I will do my darndest to get these uh, uploaded in more of a timely manner for September. So thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes. Um, it's deeply appreciated. Um, you have a wonderful month and we will see you next time.